Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and today I'm going to show you how to swap the nozzle on the Flash Forge 85X 3D printer because it is different, much different than it is on the Adventure 5M and the Adventure 5M Pro. It uses a completely different style of nozzle. But this one should be less expensive than the ones that are currently sold for those two printers. So let me show you how to do it first. We got to go here to the tool head. This cover here is magnetically attached and it just comes right off. So just lift it up just like that. It's got these two little pillars on the top that you can just easily slide this back down into it and then is reconnected again, all right? So this is really easy, just take it off just like that. The next thing that you're gonna see is this little silicone sleeve right here that's covering the nozzle. So you'll need to take this off and make sure that the nozzle is not hot when you're doing this, otherwise you may burn yourself unless you have like some heat resistant gloves. So now that that is taken off, you can see that there is this bracket like right here. You see that bracket? What you have to do is you have to grab this and you have to swing it open just like that. And once you swing it open, this part here is a little bit loose. And this part also flips open just like that it's on a hinge so it's not going to fall down and it also is attached by these magnets here and that will simply allow you to grab the nozzle and just remove it now you can get a closer look at it so this is what the new style nozzle looks like it's very similar to the bamboo lab a1 you see that it's flat on this side see it's got some curves on this side and then this is the part that goes right up. Now that is compared to the old style nozzle for the Adventure 5M and the 5M Pro. So you can see those two differences right there. It is a world of difference. Much smaller, should also be much cheaper. All right, so now let's put it back together. You also notice that there is a little channel right here and that is good for the nozzle to just sort of sit and rest into it just like that all right now you want to take this door and close it back that way and then that clip that's now on the right side we just take it and push it right back over now this part can be a little bit tricky because sometimes you might have to uh, give it a little bit of coercion by kind of just trying to bend it back into place a little bit. A little trick that you can do is just take your thumb and apply pressure to this part here, not the end part, but this part. So if you do that, it'll go back into place. Now you see it's not flapping, it's not flipping open anymore, but now it is secure in its position. And at this point, we have to take our little silicone sock and just put it right back over the nozzle and with this you might have to work with it a little bit you know but i feel like this is one of those things that the more times that you do it the easier it will become just look down and just make sure that you can see the tip of that nozzle coming out then you just grab the outer shell line it up with those two pillars on the top like i mentioned earlier job done so that is how you swap out the nozzle on the Flash Forge 85X, something that you will most certainly do when the larger and smaller nozzles come out for this. And if you are interested in a replacement, I did see on Amazon there is one from a third party that's currently selling for about $21. I cannot vouch for its quality, but it is available. So if you're interested in that, check the link in the description. It'll take you there. So that's it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to check out the Flash Forge 85X playlist that you'll see in the description and at the end of this video if you want to know more about this printer. So until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.